Okay, hi everyone. And in today's video, I am going to show you how you can easily reduce wind noise in your videos using DaVinci Resolve 16. Now, I know I wouldn't ordinarily do this kind of video as I'm far from being a video or audio editing expert. But the reason I've decided to do this video is because I couldn't find this myself. I needed to find a very easy way to do this and I used DaVinci Resolve 16. So I searched YouTube and everywhere else for information on how to easily do this in this editing suite and I couldn't find anything. I found a video which showed how I could pay for a plugin to easily do it and I almost did that but then eventually I found the way to do it. And so the reason I'm doing this video is to share this with you because there aren't any videos out there on how to do it in DaVinci Resolve 16. Okay, so if you are a user of DaVinci Resolve, then you probably know a little bit about uh, how it all works. Um, you know that when you're doing any audio, you've got the audio line down here. And if you're doing any audio editing, you need to use the Fairlight suite. Now you can click to go into the Fairlight tab and do everything here, of course, but you can also do it in the Edit tab too, because down here you have your audio effects and your Fairlight effects here. So you can very easily do it from here or you can do it in the Fairlight tab yourself. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I personally do these little things here, okay? Now, Basically, when you want to put any of these um, onto your audio section, you can either do it directly onto your clip or you can do it onto the audio timeline itself. But then remember that whatever you put onto your audio timeline is going to affect the whole timeline. If you just want to do this edit on one particular clip, then you want to put it onto the clip itself. Okay, so... Um, here we go. What you need for this is the vocal channel. Okay. Now I'm going to play, I've got a clip here which has a lot of wind noise. So I'm going to play this clip to you now so you can hear it. My case K9 square filter holder that comes with a polarizing filter. Now I already have a Lee square filter holder. Okay, so all that wind noise in the background is completely interfering with the, my voice. And of course I had the dead cat, as they call it, on the microphone. And that obviously dampened the wind noise a bit, but still the wind noise was quite loud. Now, I looked at many different things. Now, um, when you're working in these things, you have various uh, options. There's a noise reduction, which I used, but the noise reduction only really works on background noise. I found videos that showed you how to get rid of background noise, but most background noise is very high frequency or high pitched or like fans whirring or things like this. But the thing is with wind noise, wind noise is a very low frequency, very bassy sound. So these uh, noise reduction plugins will not work and what you need is a high pass filter and the high pass filter is located down here in the vocal channel this is the this is what you want here the vocal channel okay so you take your vocal channel here you drag it now you either place it on your timeline if you want to do the whole timeline or you place it on the clip itself okay so we're going to place it on the timeline okay and then it brings up this panel. Now I don't use this personally, you can. There are all these dials and all these controls, but I actually find them quite fiddly. So what I do is I close this and I go up here to the inspector. Yeah, I click, if you click the clip, if you haven't put it on the clip, then you won't see it here. So you need to click where you've put it. In my case, I click the timeline here and then it brings it up. So here is my vocal channel, okay? Yeah, now I want to tick this high pass in and I want to increase or decrease my frequency until the uh, wind noise is gone. So let's take it right down completely and I'm going to play the clip. 
and then I'm going to increase that high pass frequency until the wind noise is gone. Okay. My case K9 square filter holder that comes with a polarizing filter. Now I already have a Lee square filter holder, so you might be one. There we go. Now let's go back. Play that. Let's play that again now. My case K9 square filter holder that comes with a polarizing filter. Now, now see how that has reduced all of the rumble. It's got rid of all of the bassy rumble that the wind noise created. Now it's just a nice bit of wind noise in the background. Now of course you can increase that even more if you want to get rid of it even more. Let's go. Case K9 square filter holder. Yeah, but then you start affecting your voice. So you've got to find polarizing filter. Now, see now my voice is very tinny. So uh, the more you increase that, the more you basically are cutting out the bass within your audio. So you want to find that right balance where your voice sounds still sounds good, but the wind noise is not too rumbly and annoying. My case K9 square filter holder that comes with a polarizing filter. Now so now yeah I've reduced that to you can still hear the wind but it's not really bassy and annoying. Now there are other options down here that you can play with if you can't get it right. Yeah you've got your equalizer controls down here so you can play around with them as well. Uh, but that's basically it. The, the essential thing that you need is the high pass frequency adjustment. Okay, that is what will get rid of the bassy rumble of the wind noise in your videos. Okay, it's that simple. So uh, I hope you found this useful uh, as I certainly have and it's certainly going to save you a lot of money so don't uh, go out there and pay for one of those special plugins that will let you easily do it because you can just very easily do it here in DaVinci Resolve. So you need to go to vocal channel and you need to uh, adjust the high pass frequency. Tick the high pass in and then play around with the high pass frequency until you get rid of the wind noise or at least reduce it to a noise to a manageable level that is not so annoying and then if need be play around with the other settings within the equalizer. So uh, to recap I'll play you the difference again. I'll play this without. So we could just simply switch this off here to get rid of what we've done. K9 square filter holder that comes with a polarizing filter. Now switch it on. I already have a Lee square filter holder. Magic. So you might be wondering why I went out and bought this. Why bother when I already have it? But there it so there you go. Uh, hope this has been helpful for you as I say. Thanks for watching and uh, check out my other videos and uh, catch you later.